What's up, everybody? I hope everyone is doing well. This is Mavis, your host from Bentley Education, and you're listening to the Infrastructure Star Talks podcast. Do you want to visualize and plan your career journey? Well, who can be better than infrastructure experts from around the globe to instill the spark of optimism in you? If you have been thinking about ways to reach out to these experts and learn from them, think no more, get ready to ride on the one way roller coaster ride of knowledge and inspiration by learning from these infra gurus. Today, we have a very special guest. Mr. Skmantis Bakis, who is head of design department in one of the best training fakes company in North Europe, which is Staticus UAB. Technologies and approaches are as his interest areas, and he is enthusiastic to work on implementation process of new parametric design concepts and BIM development. Welcome, Bakis. Thank you so much for joining us today. How are you doing? Hello, Himavis. Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. But yeah, thank you. It's quite a nice day and uh, really exciting to to be here uh, to give some thoughts regarding the engineering. That's great, Bacchus. We are very glad to have you on board. And you are experienced in structure engineering, company management, turnkey project management, and energy sector consultancy, and so on. And our listeners are very excited to know about your career journey. So are you excited to share with our listeners? Yes, of course, of course, Marvis. Uh, so yeah, I'm at the moment I'm head of the design in, in Statics, mm-hmm. uh, the Facade Contractor Company. And I'm here for, for three years already. It's, yeah. uh, it was a, quite a journey uh, before mm-hmm. this uh, position. And I'm started actually as a structural engineer in one of mm-hmm. the biggest uh, engineering companies in Europe. Mm-hmm. Uh, and during the the career over there in that company, uh, I got the very significant chance, and I was invited by another contractor who was mm-hmm. actually implementing my project. I was uh, asked to to manage the process and to manage the project over there. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of a turnaround in in my career back then, uh, mm-hmm. from the from the design, from the from the computer, from the nice and tidy working place. I uh, went up to the manufacturing, to the site, to the real things, uh, to develop the things. Mm-hmm. So, and it was quite surprising for me. It was quite shocking for me back then to mm-hmm. see my my own project, my own design to be developed. Actually, uh, I saw not only the nice things and not only exciting mm-hmm. things, but also my mistakes. And mm-hmm. I understood really quite well uh, what I missed and why I missed the things uh, in the design. Mm-hmm. So that was quite interesting uh, phase, uh, phase of the career, actually. Uh, it's really one of the insights uh, for everyone, for the listeners, maybe just right. try to, to see uh, your career, not only from the designer or site manager as you are at the moment, but also from another perspective and another uh, participant in the in the, in the value or uh, in the chain of the value. Right. You know? Yeah, right. Um, then I moved uh, actually to another position um, to lead the design office. So mm-hmm. it was again back uh, back to the nice and tidy place, uh, mm-hmm. to the computer, to the people, to the coffee machines. Um, but that time it was uh, the project more related to um, to foreign countries, to the Scandinavia countries. Uh, that was, of course, again, uh, structural works, uh, design works. Uh, where well, I again I learned some new things and new skills. It was more international company. The management was mm-hmm. international and the things uh, we were doing over there was totally different. Uh, I mean, in the management way of doing things. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm quite happy that uh, I moved again, like another turn around in my career. Uh, I moved from the pure design to the company where we do the design in Staticus. Mm-hmm. We do the complete design for our objects, for our structures, but we also do the manufacturing, prefab manufacturing and installation as well. So basically this is kind of, this is the mix of uh, of my career, like uh, right. from design to the manufacturing to the site. So basically now I'm really 
uh, very close to the to the process, and uh, that's kind mm -hmm. of good. Uh, yeah, and it's very good for um, for all the engineers that we have because uh, the experience they are receiving it's live. It's uh, it's not from the whiteboards. Uh, it's directly from the manufacturing and from the sites. Mm -hmm. uh, that's very important in, in my right. understanding. Right. Yeah. I agree. So, Bakis, like I'm very excited to, you know, ask a few questions and I'm sure our audience is waiting too. And so let's get started. Uh, so, Bakis, my very first question to you is, can you share something about your current role you're working on and what are some of the challenges you faced when you first started? Yeah, so uh, as a head of design, I'm managing uh, 90 engineers mm -hmm. in Statikos and those are not only in Lithuania where, where we are located, the headquarters, but also in, in, in the whole Europe we have uh, several offices, small offices, design offices, we have several freelancers. So basically it's quite challenging to, to manage all the different uh, offices in distance, all the different people and different nations in distance. Mm -hmm. uh, it is challenging, but it was also the challenge for me in the beginning because uh, the facade was something that I never never made the design for uh, in my career. So it was quite, uh, I don't know, it was not like exciting. It was more uh, a bit uh, in <laughs> worries. I, I had some worries actually in the beginning. Uh, mm -hmm. It was the new structure and for every engineer is new structure is something like a nightmare. Uh, they, they are afraid of those. Um, but it's not so hard and uh, you can train yourself, you can, uh, of course, you have to do a lot of things. Uh, nevertheless, a uh, company supports you and there are some training and courses, uh, but you have to really take uh, take some time and take attention to learn new things in the facades. So that was mm -hmm. quite challenging in the beginning. And uh, right now what we are facing is, uh, of course, there is a challenge of uh, resources, engineering capacities. Uh, in new projects because uh, Statics is growing every day and we're really short on, on, on resources. So every day is the new challenge how to resource projects and uh, to keep running them. Uh, yeah, that's quite, uh, my role is uh, quite exciting in the thing that uh, I have to switch in between uh, several tasks mm -hmm. in very short time. In some cases it's not very productive. Uh, but it's also a very dynamic position. So all managerial positions are in, in engineering. All man, uh, managerial positions are quite dynamic, I would say. And you're not drafting, you're not doing the drawing uh, peacefully. But you have mm -hmm. to, to solve many of the problems, uh, many of the uh, unforeseen problems, actually. Uh, you get up uh, every morning and you don't know uh, what kind of uh, problem uh, you will have to fix. In that day, even you have the plan for the whole day, uh, but it happens. It happens in this okay. way. Yeah, and I have a quite uh, I have quite of experience to compare those things because I was also mm -hmm. making the draftings, uh, doing the, those things, um, and I'm I was manager as well, and I am manager uh, still. Uh, and sometimes even to do the drawing or to do the, some kind of calculations, uh, they're quite relaxing in the way mm -hmm. of uh, working, in the way you're just performing, you get up uh, in the morning and you know what you're going to do and you do this in, in quite peaceful way. Um, that's also quite a beauty of, of, of the way of working. So it, it depends on personality in the engineering, what you mm -hmm. what you want to do. Right, agreed. Well, thanks, Bacchus, uh, for sharing your experience with our listeners. And I'm pretty sure our young engineers out there can relate it to you. Also, uh, Bacchus wanted to know what is, in your opinion, is the most important uh, personality trait someone would need to work uh, in infrastructure industry? Yeah, but it's, <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe it's only mm -hmm. my perspective. And uh, you already maybe know that because I'm, I mentioned my career path and it's mm -hmm. quite quite mix of everything uh, from the design to the side to the manufacturing from the welding uh, to the side. Uh, so basically in my understanding an engineer should know 
as much about the process as it's possible mm -hmm. to understand all the variables and what is what because uh, uh, now we are talking about the sustainability more and more now we're talking about the value engineering more and more uh, parametric designs and other uh, really advanced things uh, but sometimes engineers are missing the understanding how the solution is actually affecting the other uh, value chain or like uh, your your design how much it affects the costs or how much it affects the sustainability so basically you should have the much way much broader understanding about the things uh, that you're designing mm -hmm. so really but for those things you either have to experience those by yourself or you have to train uh, you have to read you have to show the interest in those things no one right. will give you like a, there is no uh, hand note or, or the bible for for those things you have to go and take those yeah i completely agree with you like this it's completely right. <clears throat> also, uh, Bakis, you're not only passionate in your current role, but also you care about economic empowerment, education, science and technology, etc. So are you participating in any volunteer roles and passionate about giving back to the community? And what has been the most considerable influence on your life? Uh, well, yeah, there's different topics. Uh, if you're talking about the company or we are talking about the personal personal things. So mm -hmm. as, as a company, I uh, would really uh, love to mention that uh, we are highly involved in the, uh, giving like, uh, how to say, insights or uh, the first ideas about the engineering for, for young students from the schools. Mm -hmm. um, we are working with the university uh, to, to actually to show what we are doing. Uh, for their students uh, to work together in some of the projects and basically this is the this is the way how we trying to show for what is the facade engineering and what is the engineering in general for younger people for just um, junior junior students uh, from the schools or universities and this is very important because sometimes uh, even in university people are are not aware what they're going to do and how they are the day looks like and what they can achieve in, in the future. So it's very important uh, to show for them uh, those things and uh, we are participating in those activities uh, with some of the partners that we have. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, like this is inspirational and splendid back is. And uh, talking about uh, the infrastructure industry, back is where do you where do you see infra infrastructure industry going over the next five or ten years? I, I would see in general not only infrastructure, but uh, the whole engineering mm -hmm. uh, and the design. Uh, it's gonna be the mix of uh, all good engineering and and laws of Newton, and the mix of IT things, uh, mix of programming, uh, mix of the system management. Um, and now what? Uh, we are working uh, since we are working with universities now what we see that uh, all the engineering uh, departments in universities they also understand this and they are trying and starting to prepare young students uh, to have some skills of in programming to have some skills in uh, data analytics and this is very important and i believe that in maybe in five or ten years more and more uh, processes will be digital and automatized even but we will not talk about the parametric design maybe we will um, maybe talk about i don't know artificial design in in this case right right i agree so like if you could turn back the time back is and talk to your 18 year old self what would you tell him or what would you like to share tips and tricks and how they can prepare themselves before starting as future professionals. If I'm talking about the students or the young like graduates, like basically the students who are like currently trying to be in this industry or dreaming to be in this industry. And if you go back to your 18 year old self, what would you tell yourself? Yeah, maybe uh, <laughs> it's <laughs> very natural, a uh, natural answer. And everyone would say that, uh, OK, I will I uh, wouldn't waste my time and do uh, one thing or another thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe maybe I would still waste my time on um, having a 
fun time, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't waste uh, my time by just uh, looking, uh, watching the TV or doing something not very important, but to learn new skills. And uh, those skills would definitely be uh, the programming things right. uh, from IT things. Even I know some of those, but uh, maybe the from the young days those skills would be a bit more now now they would be a bit, a bit more stronger and in engineering i believe and i feel that those are very important at the moment right but it's still like a very brief uh, moment in, in back in, the, in that 18s right also wanted to know like do you want to talk about any proudest moment of your life and your career journey like really i'm really interested to know about it if you could share with our audience <clears throat> yeah, well, it's not my uh, it's not my moments. Uh, mm -hmm. Since since I'm manager and uh, I was manager, I'm actually I'm I am manager for more than ten years, and I never I always had the team actually, mm -hmm. and it was not my times that I was proud uh, of my works and my achievements, but it was always the the team achievements that I was proud of because if the team uh, achieves something. It means you are achieving, and uh, now what we have is like a, a client's feedback, and uh, the best moments and uh, best recognition of achievement is when the the clients is saying that your team did great work and uh, you have a great design. It's uh, head uh, head in front uh, of other companies, and you do so and so good things in the design. That is really uh, the achievement for for mm -hmm. me. Even it's it's not actually my achievement; it's my team achievements, mm -hmm. and I have manager also only have to support the team basically. Right, and I'm sure your career journey will undoubtedly inspire the next generation, and I will surely try to follow it as well, Bacchus. And that's it. And thank you so much, Bacchus, for taking our time out of your busy schedule to join us today. I'm sure our audience has many takeaways from your career journey. Thank you so much, Mavis, and uh, good luck for everyone. Yep, thank you. And that brings us to the end of this episode. Thanks for listening to the Infrastructure Start Talks. If you enjoy our show, leave us a review and recommend topics you would love to hear in our next episode. Before I sign off, everyone make sure to follow Bentley Education on social media to get a jump start on your infrastructure career. Until then, this is Mavis signing off. We'll meet again soon in another exciting episode with another info guru from the world of infrastructure.